Well, another small story out of the UK this morning, not terror related, but one that says a lot. A new survey found that British university students were so overwhelmed by student loan debt that a third of them would consider prostitution in order to pay off their loans. And before you judge that, consider that the situation here in the U.S. may be no better. The student loan debt is higher here. More than a million college kids have enrolled in one prostitution website, just one. There may be others hoping to sell themselves for cash. These are normal kids working to get an education. People you might know might live on your street, willing to become hookers to pay the bills. Is that the America you remember? Isn't this a rich country? Well, for some, it's richer than ever, but for the middle class, signs of poverty are everywhere. Take a trip outside the city sometime. It's like the recovery never happened because in a lot of places, it didn't happen. Almost half the people who live here in the U.S. cannot come up with 400 bucks on a day's notice. That's the pair of tires for your truck, not even all four. And yet it's still too expensive, perhaps, maybe even likely, for your neighbors. Since 1990, the percentage of working-age Americans classified as, quote, disabled has doubled. For a lot of them, the main disability they face is a total lack of jobs anywhere near where they live. None of these people shows up in the fake unemployment numbers Washington shamelessly peddles to the rest of us. Is it really surprising, then, that heroin use has exploded in rural America? Drug ODs kill 50,000 people a year in this country. Now, in a lot of ways, things are bad in parts of America, and that's exactly why so many voters rolled the dice on Donald Trump in the last election. It's also why it is vital that the people in charge address the underlying problems that put him there in the first place. But they're not addressing those problems, in case you haven't noticed. The latest evidence comes from a new poll released by Politico. As of this morning, 68% of Democrats say that President Trump should be impeached and removed from office. Nearly half of Democrats, this is amazing, believe that Congress's top priority ought to be investigating the administration's ties to Russia. Not fixing health care, unemployment, the opioid crisis, or even figuring out why college kids are selling their bodies to pay their student loans. But the Russia conspiracy, that's the most important thing to half of all Democrats. As we've noted before, many times, this is crazy. Worse than that, it's negligent. The real story is not Donald Trump, whatever you think of him, it's the people who voted for them. They voted for him for a reason, in some cases, even though they didn't really care to vote for him. A lot of them were actually Democrats abandoned by their party. Democrats could probably win a lot of these people back if only they cared about their lives. But instead, the party has retreated further into the cul-de-sac of identity politics. Open borders, transgender bathrooms, any number of esoteric and poorly thought out ideas pushed by its component interest groups. And now, Russia, the grandest conspiracy of all, the one that explains everything in the universe, very much including the failures of the Democratic Party. Trump didn't win, Putin installed him. It's a lie, but it feels good. What a relief from self-reflection that is. So Democrats take hit after hit until one day they're hopelessly addicted to this lie. They're Putin heads looking for another fix on CNN. It's amusing and it's poignant. It's sad. But meanwhile, the middle class is still dying. Zach Pekansas is a former senior advisor of the DNC. He ran the party's Trump war room and he joins us tonight. Half of all Democrats believe investing the ties between Trump and Russia is the single most important agenda item for the Congress to pursue in the face of everything that's happening in this country. That tells you everything. I, I think what it tells you is that this is a very serious issue that Congress needs to take serious, and the White House needs to start taking it seriously, which is something that we haven't been seeing from them. In fact, what we've seen is that they have spent uh, their capital trying to undermine this special counsel, throwing out you know, these arcane rules from the Department of Justice to try to limit the scope of what the special counsel uh, can, can start investigate so that he can investigate Jared Kushner, so that he can investigate yeah. well, they're, they're, you know, Paul I'm, I'm Paul, sure that's right. Paul, I mean, they're, 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 they're worried about the special counsel. I think that this is, a re that this is a reaction to the fact that people in Washington don't seem to be taking this seriously, certainly not from this White House okay. and certainly from the Republican Congress. I don't know which Washington you're living in, maybe a different from the, from I, the one I occupy. How, how, about but the, the, how about the Washington where Paul Ryan, when, he, okay. when, when uh, Kevin McCarthy, the leader of the party, uh, joked about the fact that he believed that uh, Donald Trump and another member of Congress were being paid by the well, Russians. He may be part Literally of the, he may be part by, of the conspiracy, by the, by too, the but Russia. you're kind of missing the point saying, I'm making, and so is your party, which is, we just had a political revolution in November, something none of us expected, least of all the Democrats, and it happened for a reason, a reason that parties exist to pay attention to. They exist to respond to the anxieties and the hopes and the needs of their constituents. And the Democrats, rather than doing that and thinking through, like, how the hell did this happen, what did we do wrong, 
went right to Russia. Meanwhile, the middle class is still dying. First off, we can walk and chew gum at the same time. Yes, Really? We, Where's yes. the evidence? Well, I think the evidence is what we're seeing today. There is a vigorous opposition to this Republican health care bill, which is, uh, as the Congressional Budget Office said today, is going to mean that 23 million fewer people are going to have health care oh by 2026. Are you Look, the, the, I mean, these are pocketbook issues. If you don't think that that matters for people, I think it, senior, I think it senior, does matter. A senior but, but that is making $26,000 a year will see an 850% Okay, increase but, in their but Zach, premium. you're kind of missing the point, no, which is, is Democrats. This is the point. <laughs> no, Democrats just lost the last election what? on Obamacare. Obamacare was in place. The same program all of us live under right now was in place on election day, and it failed the middle class. That's why Michigan and a bunch of other unexpected states went for Trump rather than Hillary. And my only point is, where is the reflection here? Where's the concern about actual? Issues, the unemployment numbers. Sure. Will we'll well, focusing well, on Carter Page's Russia ties bring a single job to a single first American? Off, I mean, really. First off, Rob Quist in Montana, what is he campaigning on right now? Is he campaigning on Russia? Is he talking about the special counselor? No. You know what he's talking about? He's talking about health care. He's talking about fixing Obamacare. Exactly. And he's talking about campaigning against... And he's against doing pretty well. You're making my point for me. No, and he's is, doing pretty well. Look, we can, chew, but we can walk the, and chew gum well, at the same can. time. Half we can. Of all we, can. Yeah, we can absolutely walk and chew gum at the same time. We, we are focusing to make sure that our republic is secure because of, of the uh, extraordinary intervention by a hostile foreign power. You're selling... And crap to your voters, and you know that. You're telling our, them our, that all their problems can be explained by Vladimir Putin's intervention no, into American that's politics. No, that's 100% not And it's true. insane, and it's sad, and they believe you because they trust you, I mean, but you're lying to them. We are literally going out there and campaigning every day on health care. That's what our candidates are going out there and talking to people about. That's what members of Congress are spending their time focusing on. I mean, if you turn on the TV Really, because I live here, and I host a cable show in this city, and mm -hmm. I can promise you that every person I talk to on the left is totally absorbed in the Russia story, and this poll, well, on which this whole segment is predicated, proves that it's true. Look, the Russia is an extraordinarily important issue because there is there is a potential active obstruction of justice piece that's going on right now, um, and, and it's very very oh important. However, we are talking very fo very uh, in a very focused way on healthcare, which is uh, the, all the evidence you need is okay. if you go into Montana, You're reacting... if you go into Georgia and the Georgia. Well, actually, election, I'm agreeing with you that when Democrats healthcare. address middle class economics. They have a shot. And by the way, the country deserves someone to focus on that. Sure. Bernie Sanders almost got your nomination. And he did it not by talking about Russia or these weird social issues that really serve nobody except their stupid little interest groups. He talked about bread and butter things like student loans, which are a real thing. I, I, and you guys have abandoned that completely. I, I mean, if you, if you go onto the floor of the House of Representatives, what are they talking about? They're talking about health care. They're talking about jobs. We, the first thing that the Senate Democrats did, what do they do? They sent an infrastructure jobs bill to the White House. Where has that been? That has been oh, sitting there languishing. They're, no, they, so I mean, really, they're going to impeach Impeach Trump because he's not responding to the opioid crisis or unemployment or the rise in health care costs. No, they're, they're trying to impeach him because they no, think that he's Vladimir they're, Putin's they're, marionette, and it's insane. The, de the Democratic leadership is not talking about impeachment. What they are talking about is this are. awful health care bill that is going to mean that 23 million people have few, uh, fewer can I, people can I just one thing? Maybe it would be good for the Democratic Party to lead. Rather than letting its interest group set the agenda and its spun-up net roots who watch the cable shows demand action on this or that, but to articulate what the message is, the middle class needs representation, and they're ignoring it. Our, our, again, if you, if you want to know what, the, what we are talking about on a day-to-day -day basis, go see our candidates who are talking about health care, who are okay. talking about job creation. So you got one, guy in, you got one guy in Montana. But and, and, and Georgia and, and other right. candidates that are going around. Zach, it's great to see you. You too. Thanks.